What's it be to Capital G here checking out the first revealed cards from the brand new structure deck Revolver. Everybody's favorite villain slash anti-hero from Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns is going to be getting his own structure deck. I talked about that in another video and I also said in that video I thought that there was a chance that Konami could premiere a brand new archetype for Revolver in this structure deck. Some people might think I'm crazy but just keep in mind guys multiple characters from the anime have actually switched archetypes. Go played uh, Goki in season one. Now he plays Dino Wrestlers in season two. They did the same thing for Aoi. She played Trick Stars for the longest time. Now she plays Marincess. So I thought that there was a possibility. However, that did not come to fruition. It seems that uh, these new cards revolve around Rockets. So I guess Revolver is going to be uh, playing Rockets in the future. And uh, yeah, the first card we're going to talk about is actually another Boral Dragon card. And this is <laughs> predictably a fusion monster. Um, I I guess at this point he is uh revolver is becoming the master of all summoning mechanics very similar to like reggie and Yu-Gi-Oh arc v because my man got synchros he's got an xc coming out in rising rampage obviously many many link monsters anyways this is ball load furious dragon this is a level eight dark dragon monster 3000 attack 2500 defense i'm guessing that's the same stat line probably is like savage dragon and um x charge dragon uh uh, yeah, this is probably the same stat line. Anyways, the materials are pretty easy it's just two dark dragon monsters to summon so basically any two rocket monsters although technically i believe pendulums can also summon this because they play things like dark worm and they can play destrudo and stuff like that um it says that uh, each effect is a hard once per turn however you can use both effects in the same turn which is super relevant for the second effect the first effect is a quick effect it says target one monster you control and one card your opponent controls destroy them second effect is you can ban this card from your graveyard then target one dark link monster in your graveyard special summon that monster but it cannot activate its effects this turn this card is pretty damn good in my opinion um it's really interesting when you look at the borrow cards because for the most part I like to think of them as like really good. However, there have been some stinkers. Boral Load, X Charge Dragon, the one from Rising Rampage. I think that card just sucks. I think Boral Guard Dragon was another kind of flop, but this one is like pretty good. It's not as good as like Boral Load Savage Dragon, in my opinion, but it's solid. First off, it does have essentially kind of like a Scrap Dragon or Phantom Knight to Break Sword type effect with its first effect. Kind of like, um, you know, you pop a monster on your side of the field, get to blow up one of your opponent's cards. It works excellent with rockets. Um, you know, rockets have to be destroyed for them to essentially float. So if you pop your rocket, pop one of your opponent's cards during the end phase, your rocket monster will float. So that's excellent. But I look at that second effect, and that's really good too. Because let's just say that you're in a tight spot, right? Let's say your opponent has a boss monster on their side of the field, something maybe you can't attack over. You could use Boral Load Furious Dragon itself. You could have him pop himself, right? Then you could just revive one of your other Boral Monsters from the graveyard. Uh, graveyard. You could, like, revive your Boral Sword Dragon or your Boral Load Dragon. Now, those monsters would not be able to activate their powerful effects that turn. However, they could still attack. And then uh, once your opponent's turn starts, their effects would be online. And I think that that's just actually pretty damn dope. The fact that this guy has a Monster Reborn for his archetype built right in to it and then he also has kind of a disruption and removal effect as well this is a solid card for rockets in my opinion i definitely like it next card is actually going to be a link to for rockets this is thorn Boral dragon it is a link to dark dragon monster it uh let's see it points to the left and then it points straight down towards you and uh the materials what well, has 1000 attack excuse me and uh, the materials are two dragon monsters including a rocket monster so there's not going to be any type of shenanigans playing this on like guard dragon dot decks and stuff like that you gotta summon this using at least one rocket monster it says that um this card's effect is a hard once per turn the effect is you can discard one card then target one face up monster on the field you cannot special summon link to or lower monsters from your extra deck for the rest of the turn also destroy that monster then if the destroyed monster was a link monster you can special summon rocket monsters with different names from your hand or graveyard up to that monster's link rating so this is a little bit of a kind of a complicated card because there's a lot to take in with that effect but essentially 
this is a card that is just kind of like spot removal for rockets if you really think about it this card is just kind of like discard a card from your hand pop one of your opponent's monsters now technically you can pop your own cards but i really don't see like i i would i really wouldn't think that people would do that even if they were triggering the rockets like i think that that would just be a little too much mainly you're going to use this for popping your opponent's cards right so let's just say worst case scenario you're basically using this as spot removal at the cost of a disc Discard. best case removal or best case scenario you're probably getting a few rocket monsters in addition and i look at the downside of this card and i'm like well the downside is that you can't summon link two or lower monsters but is that even really like relevant because let's just say you blew up your opponent's bull sword dragon right and then you get to summon i guess up to four rocket monsters from you know, like your graveyard or hand which obviously is like super dope i mean are you really looking to go for like link twos and ones at that point like chances are when you bring them back you're probably looking to go up the ladder not down the ladder you're gonna have a link two on board so you're probably looking to climb into your own link fours like boil load and boil sword and stuff like that this seems like a card that is probably a one of though I realistically couldn't see you really needing to use uh, multiple copies of this because I think once you use it spot removal effect, I think you're probably going to link it away if you're lucky enough to get those, uh, you know, rocket monsters from your graveyard or from your hand onto the field. Anyways, we got a fusion spell to talk about because since we got a fusion monster, we got we have to have some way of summoning it. I mean, ain't nobody trying to run polymerization in 2019. This is rapid trigger. It's a quick play spell and it's a hard once per turn on its effect. Um, um, it says fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck by destroying monsters you control as fusion material um, the summon monster cannot attack except um, except to attack monsters special summon from the extra deck also it is unaffected by activated effects of any monster special summon from the extra deck except its own okay to me this was a card that like was good in theory but I think it was just kind of like poor execution I, I think Konami like over tuned this card and i think that they it was like kind of unnecessary right so when i look at this card it essentially is kind of like l shot off fusion for rockets i love the fact that it destroys the monster and it doesn't just send the cards to the graveyard i mean you can't use your hand which kind of sucks but the fact that it destroys the monsters you're going to fusion summon with is excellent because the one of the biggest problems with rockets is it's very similar to like tech genus when um extreme victory came out tech genus didn't really work as a synchro deck because because when you synchro summon with them, you wouldn't actually, like, they wouldn't float. They would only float when they were destroyed. Rockets are the same exact way. If you link summon with them, they don't float. But if your opponent runs them over in battle, they do float. So there's always been a natural kind of, like, conflict there between actually, you know, link summoning with them and then trying to get value out of them. This card allows you to do that. If you're blowing up a couple of rockets to go in the Furious Dragon, those rocket monsters are going to float during the end phase, and that's actually pretty dope. But I looked at, you know, the other part of this effect, and this is why I say this card is overtuned. The whole thing about you can only attack monsters that are special summoned from the extra deck, like, what the fuck is that about? That just seems kind of lame to me, especially considering that this card could be used in the battle phase. Like, wouldn't it be amazing to attack your opponent directly with a couple of rocket monsters, then fuse during the battle phase and just smack them upside the head directly with a furious attack of like 3000 you can't do that with this card and i think that that's kind of lame technically this card also could be using stuff like shadows because when shadow monsters are destroyed they technically will like activate and float as well but i mean i kind of feel like they tried to get, they tried to balance this card by saying hey you can attack directly you can only attack your opponent's extra deck monsters but then you're going to be unaffected by extra deck monsters and it, it just feels like it's completely unnecessary like i, I think all that line just should have been taken out i'd rather just be able to attack directly i don't care about being unaffected by my opponent's like activated effects of extra deck monsters i want to be able to do damage with my damn fusion monsters so while i think that um rockets will run this card i just think that that restriction um is just kind of like it's unnecessary and i don't think that the bonus benefits of uh, being unaffected by your opponent's extra deck monsters is really worth it it feels like the juice is not worth the squeeze at that point next up or i guess uh, not <laughs> next up but lastly we have a brand new topologic monster if you guys don't watch Yu-Gi-Oh! 
brains. Topologics are used by Revolver in the anime, and uh, Topologics, pretty much all of them have been, have been good historically, whether it be uh, Tris Bana or Bomber Dragon. Obviously, Gumblar Dragon is nuts. This one is, uh, yeah, the legacy of Topologics being good is definitely not going to be broken. This is Topologic Zero Voros. It is a Link 4. Dark Cybers type, 3,000 attack, and it points to the top left, bottom left, top right, and bottom right. It requires two plus effect monsters, so basically every deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! Can, uh, can summon it. And it says you cannot special summon monsters to an extra monster zone this card points to. So you have to kind of like watch where you put this thing on the field. Otherwise, you might lock yourself out of an important zone. It says the first effect is it gains 200 attack for each banished card. Second effect is if another monster is special summon to a to a zone a link monster points to while this card is on the field banish all cards on the field that is <laughs> Oh my god, that is fucking crazy. Uh, third effect is, once per turn during the standby phase of the next turn after this card was banished by its own effect, special summon it. Okay, so to me, this is a card that, like, I looked at Orcus and I was like, yo, this is basically your best friend. You guys know how, like, Orcus will sometimes go for, like, um, Topologic Bomber Dragon, and then during their opponent's turn, they'll try to, like, summon monsters back to its link point to try to, like, have it trigger and blow up all their opponent's monsters. This kind of can be used for the same exact uh, same exact strategy but the difference is this banishes cards which obviously is way better than blowing cards up and this actually deals with um spells and traps as well so even against decks like sky striker this could be extremely useful not to mention this card will summon itself back during the next standby phase and it gets progressively stronger as well because it gains 200 attack for each card that's banished this card seems like it can be incredibly strong also it's not really well it doesn't need to be a hard once per turn because i guess it does actually banish itself so there'd be no point of being a hard once per turn but i think that this card will definitely see play because i think people will summon this card and then they'll basically try to activate that effect when when their opponent has committed a bunch of cards to the field banish them all and then just have this guy come back and there really aren't a lot of decks that are meant to survive like big banishing effects like people can survive destruction with things like bailing and other type of like protection cards but it's really difficult unless your name is like metaphys to kind of survive banishing so whatever you guys think of these new support cards leave it in the comment section below i wish they would have revealed some of the new rocket cards that i assume are in this structure deck as well but I think this is a pretty good start. I mean, I'm loving the new Fusion Monster. I think that the new Link 2 is going to be a one-of. I, I feel like the Fusion spell is trying to do a little too much, and I think that the Top of Logic Monster is excellent as well. So we'll see exactly, probably um, within the next couple of weeks, what type of cards Rockets are going to be getting when it comes to just the Rockets itself. But whatever you guys think, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already, and turn on that notification bell for daily videos.